Welcome to my channel. I'm Ryan Jordan and today we're going to be talking about our mental fitness and how we can use the body and the breath to get out of our head. So do you ever feel like your brain is on a stick? You know that sensation of being stuck in your head, disconnected from what's happening, is below the neck? It's not a comfortable or productive way to live, yet it's all too common. In this new little series I've been creating for you, we're going to take a journey below the neck and explore how paying attention to our body state can help us change our mental state. So please check out the rest of my videos on our core beliefs and shadow work and what are core beliefs and the benefits of shadow work. By refining our awareness and becoming truly authentic of our inner body signals, we'll become more skilled at adjusting how we feel emotionally and mentally, sometimes in a simple matter of minutes. So over the course of this series, we will cover body-based practices and protocols to make quick mental state shifts from when we need an on-the-spot solution. We're also going to learn to train our body and mind to feel stronger, calmer, clearer, for longer. The win-win. And while you listen to this course and work through this video and all the videos I've done or are upcoming to watch as well, you'll learn to develop that emotional intelligence, that emotional quotient. And we'll do this through practices for well-being, what I call my mini master class or mini wins or cross training. This will help us get mentally fit so that we're able to continue on the path. Now, mentally fit, hmm, that's something I haven't mentioned before. Mental fitness is, I would say, the capacity of the body and mind to work together to increase our physical energy, our emotional stability, and mental clarity and calmness. The feeling of being mentally fit is one of lightness, of like you're floating, of harmony, of being in sync or in alignment or connected to the all being of the all prana of the nirvana. It's that sense of being truly awake by being authentic within. Remember, whatever's happening out there is coming from what's in there. So if you can't be authentic out there, you may not be able to be authentic in there to yourself, which is the really the most important thing, to be truly connected with life. And who doesn't want more of that, right? So a good place to start is one with one of the most effective tools for shifting our physical, mental, and emotional states. The best way is a bossing, the breath. And we're going to practice that in some of my other videos, so keep checking in and you'll be seeing my whole series coming up on the chakras. Um, according to this one doctor, uh, Dr. Patricia Gerbeg, I believe, an assistant clinical professor of psychiatry at New York Medical College and the author, author of The Healing Power of the Breath, every emotion is accompanied by a different breath pattern different frequency so every energy every emotion every feeling is accompanied with a different frequency and a different breath pattern so it's possible to change how you feel even how your mind is working by slowing down to a gentle pattern of four to six breaths per minute so you can just simply do this by breathing in and holding the breath and taking a nice long exhale out as you breathe in, tell yourself in. And if you notice yourself thinking, tell yourself thinking. And as you breathe out, tell yourself out. Simply what you're doing here is observing and slowing down the breath. You're stepping into awareness. So as we breathe in, and out. We tell ourselves in, and out. Simply that simple. This is what possible meditation to just sit and be still. You gain mental insight, mental clarity, 
insight into your life, insight to anything that you can even imagine. So for a moment now, since I mentioned the word anything you can imagine, go ahead and imagine your imagination. Read fairy tales. Give them to your children. Write them. Express how you feel. Get a notebook. And start to put down some of these things that are coming up for you. Maybe even while you're listening to this or during you watching my other videos. So, the thing about breathing is it brings out our automatic nervous system into a balanced, calm state that has the same effect on our mind. Dr. Gerbarge writes that this practice has a calming effect on the emotions while enhancing attention, intelligence, clarity, and mental focus. So, by doing nothing and sitting and breathing, eyes closed, I would recommend lotus pose, will bring you all this clarity, all these answers, um, qu questions to ask. So get to know it by asking questions of what things come up in your mind if you want. What comes up, ask it questions. Ask the thought questions instead of just following the thought along all the time. And if you do find yourself following the thought, thought along, that's okay too. Just remind yourself, oh, I am thinking. Oh, I'm observing the body, the mind, this or that, thinking, doing, experiencing, feeling, touching, enjoying, indulging. Simply to be aware, simply to observe these states is in your awakened state on the path to enlightenment. So working the breath in a deep balanced pattern has been shown to synchronize and harmonize the body and mind and spirit and soul thus lifting our mood and performance so focus your attention now for a minute on your breath on how the sensation feels coming in through the breath so inhale and slowly exhale counts four to six seconds so you're going to breathe in for four, one, two, three, four, pause. Now exhale slowly for six seconds, one, two, three, four, five, six. Go ahead and do this five more times. Just take a moment to be present with what I've just shared with you. Hopefully your curiosity bell is going off. I have these little things as you breathe here in and out. I have these little things that come up for me and I just note them. I observe myself. I observe the self. So just do this, breathe in. Here, here is to have a longer out breath. Go ahead and take one more in and tell yourself in. In, out. Hope you felt a little relaxation there during it. I find every time that I work on the breath, that I just come to a much calmer, blissful, aware, st stillness, trusting, accepting, learning perspective state. So sometimes when you feel frenzied or frantic or all over the place, wired, up or down, sideways and that way, just pause and remember that by dropping your attention below the neck and tuning into your body more often, by doing a self-check-in, you'll learn to read your inner body signals, sort of like you read a book. This can help you to learn to understand the messages of what's needed or not needed to feel better physically, mentally, emotionally, whatever way you could possibly imagine. 
and draw in what's truly been for you, what the universe truly has in store for you when you're in your aligned, simple state of simply being a human being. So I hope you enjoyed this little video today. And please check out my other videos and don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment. And if you're watching my class here, then continue on with the next videos. Namaste.